Banele, my brother, thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you could. Yeah, wonderful. So excited. Eh? <laughs> excited. Can't wait for the season to open. Eh? Oh, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, before we get to that, uh, Banele, about uh, the, uh, the upcoming season, uh, can you just maybe briefly tell us about the, about the club? When did it, when was it formed? Uh, its history? What has it achieved over the yeah, years? Yeah, so like the club now, it has it started 2011. Mm. Yeah, it's like the passion and the compassion of the team it started when we were in primary. We were coaching some school in Poloke. That's where we we started this. Eh? With young kids, and they wanted to play football. That's where we see the passion in them. Then we decided to start this. We groomed them at an early age. Mm. Then, obviously, we we started. We decided to to join the the league, amateur league. Then we play, we play, we play until we win the amateur league, move to playoffs. We win the playoffs. Now, Sasol League. Mm. Last it was the first season. Last season which we managed to obtain number five. Not bad, eh? No, 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 that's not bad for, for, for your first time in the league. So yeah, that's, actually, bad, no. that's actually great. That's actually yeah, great. Not bad. Mm. Yeah, not uh, bad. Uh, in, in that season, you, you, you played 30 games and yeah. won 18. Yeah. And you, you drew three and only lost nine. Yeah. Uh, in your view, how, how was this? Given the fact that it was your first season, how would you rate it? Uh, I can say... Uh, 50 or 40 percent because there was no that work ethic and that hunger compared to to this year because normally we start our preseason early but now in terms of the schedule of the league we didn't have the proper preseason so that you can just do a, a periodization so that you can do conditioning aerobics and anaerobic stuff so that because most of the time the thing that affects us it was many injuries because they, they were not conditioned properly. So injury were there, so stuff did okay. So it was a lovely experience because now we're trying to build the, 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 the foundation from the core. Because Deep Cliff Ladies is a team that you believe in position play. We enjoy like playing football. G. So obviously, Maynard, as soon as I joined the team, my philosophy is simple. I love to play beautiful football. Mm. Either we winning or losing, but I, I love them to enjoy what you are playing. So that's deep growth lady, you see. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that uh, you suffered a lot of injuries because of conditioning. Yeah. Was that because of the step up from the amateur leagues now to the Sassol League? You found it it's a bit more intense and as a result, the players struggled with injuries. Yeah, all, all I can say, it depends with the tempo of the game. Because now in the lower leagues, the tempo was not that bad compared to to, to Sasso League, they, they, it's, it's a high intensity, it's high tempo. So like it's from first whistle to, to last whistle, the intensity is so high. So now they are not used to those intensity in terms of previous one, because the intensity was not that bad. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you say, last season was your first season. Yeah. Uh, and you, you, you did very well. To come fifth in your first season, it's actually very good. Was, when you started, you know teams when they win promotion, yeah. The first thing on their mind, let us keep the status. Let us not get relegated. Yeah. And then we'll build from that. But you guys went as far as to get fifth. What was the, what was the, the plan to, get, to go as high as possible? Was the plan just, let us be safe? And then we'll take it from there. Uh, so like the, the plan from the chairman, it was so simple. Because he came with the hair plan. It was so simple. It was key that our aim was to win the league in first oh, season. First season? Uh, yeah, that, that, that was our aim. Because each and every session, every time we are in the session, we will remind them that it's simple, it's possible. If teams can be in so like from lower division to, to semi-division to professional division, it's so simple. Like look, look at the team like Baroka, mm. all the way from Vodacom to NFT, all the way to PSL. It's, it's, it's possible. If the mindset is there, it's possible. It's, it's, it's all in the mind. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I hear you. I like the fact that uh, uh, the team is very ambitious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, th this season, in terms of preparations now, uh, how did you assemble the squad? Uh, how many of the players that you had uh, last season that are still here? Did you recruit new players? How many players are you starting the season with? Yeah, we managed to recruit so many players. Yeah, now we are impressed. 
with what we got eh? Cause we we sign a defensive midfielder Shavi from United. That's where we are lacking most of the time. Yeah. Cause our defensive midfielder was short. At least Shavi has experience. Cause our defensive midfielder was inexperienced. You know age. Shavi is 31. Kamkhiling it's it's still young. It's 20 this year. So Shavi will instill that discipline, that tactical positioning, that tactical awareness. Cause most of the time Kamkhiling. Most of the time, it's suffer in terms of uh, technical discipline and tactical positioning. So mm. Xavi will bring that. So now we'll shift from Khaling to playmaking role, playmaker. He will be good there. And then we managed to sign Sporazi from Val, one touch. It's a centre back. Obviously, now we'll move our centre back number six to this and now we'll move him to, to right back. So like now we want to listen to be a wing back now to create a lot of chances because now lefty is back from left back. So now we'll, we're having two wing backs. So we, it will be simple for us. And another thing that we lost is a goalkeeper from national team since they moved to Cape Town now. So we managed to, to recruit another keeper. So I think we, we just signed four players or five players and a striker. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a Palang squad now compared to last season. Yeah. So you, you think now that the squad that you have, you know, like you say, it's balanced squad, it's got, a, it's got youth, it's got experience. Do you think now you can go uh, maybe for the title? Uh, you can take it this year? Yeah. I have faith. We will. Because we started early. Our periodization was early. Mm. Remember the league is open this week. But our periodization started early in, in January. I think before the school opened, we were there. Mm. We were pleased with periodization. We are having a fitness trainer who's well professional, he, he conditioning them. It was so impressive. So I mean, uh, I can say uh, this year, uh, all the way mm. to the playoffs, uh, we, we, are, we will be there so to the playoffs. So you, like you say, you started uh, around January to prepare. Yeah. And your, fa your first official game is actually coming in the, on the tomorrow, which is the 23rd of April. Yeah. What activities have you, have you been doing all along oh. to ensure that you are ready uh, for the first game? Uh, all, I, all I can say, the game that we're playing, we're competitive. We had a previous tournament in Tembis, it was so competitive. We were playing against Hollywood teams. UJ was there, Amma Indies was there. We played, first game we won against Luso, which Luso, we did play against them in the league. We defeated Luso. Then semi-final we had to play against Hollywood team. Now the intensity is different, the mood is different, but the game went well because we played against UJ, it was 1-1. It was not our first time, it was not our first game with UJ. First game we played at UJ, they defeated us 5-1. Mm. It was horrible. So we managed to, to bring the kids here and tell them that it's possible, you can do this. Then we're preparing for Mofa games mm. at Timbisa Top 8. We play against competitive teams, UJ again. It was, a, it was a high intensity game. So like we, t we, we told our kids that UJ, they are a team that to play position football. So it will be simple for us if we do high press and counter press, which means in that high press and counter press, we might need to get a goal. But we, we considered at a, at a later stage, but we managed to create two chances. We hit a, a pole, another one just went down. So even support was not on our side. But now we managed to convert supporters from UJ to us. It was, I can say, big up to them. They gave us 120%, mm -hmm. things that we were not expecting. But our target was to play against Sundowns, which Sundowns was there. But obviously, <laughs> we didn't reach the final. Sundowns even didn't reach the final. So the final was on my and in UJ. Mm -hmm. In actual fact, I was there. I watched the, oh, the, the tournament. Was. Yes, I was there. And uh, at some point, uh, we were talking with some other people there, and we were saying, that you, can, you can't even actually tell the difference between the Hollywood teams and the Sassel teams because of how you guys were, were competing. So I think uh, th th that kind of tournament was actually good for, for you guys. Uh, now, things have changed this season. Like you've got two streams now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to play 14 games. And the trick is that you play a game, you rest a weekend, you play the next weekend. Now. How, as coaches, how are you going to deal with that to ensure that you keep the momentum and also maintain match fitness in between the breaks? Okay, the thing that we, we, we are having a, a trade and a culture in this team, 
So like we're having so many players. I think we're having 29 players. Now it's important that tomorrow we're going to have a league game. So we are having to play, I think you can play 15 players. Then we'll come back to the session on Tuesday. It will be a recovery session. Then on Thursday, we might have a light game against boys here. Mm. We'll play those who didn't play. So like we, we must make sure that the match fitness is at the same level, mm. which each and every one. So for example, if my left back played on the game, I'll rest my left back and put another left back. So like as we have a balanced squad, so like per, per position we are two two three 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 three. So th that's how we are going. We are, we are planning to do things now. Okay. Uh, tomorrow you take on uh, Springs Home Sweepers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are ready. We know Springs Home Sweepers. So like I, my, I myself as a technical analyst of the team. So like I, I already have a plan for 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 the team. Because we, we know how they play, how they operate, how they build, how they do. So like we, we know each and everything from goalkeeper to striker. But now they just lost the goalkeeper to NW. Yeah. So, so, so we don't know if they are going to come with new players, new style, new <laughs> philosophy, or the same ones that they were playing last year. We but whatever know. comes, you read. Yeah, we are. Coach, how, how important it is that you win the first game and set the tone for the rest of the season? Ah, uh, so like we're having a target. First four games is the must, 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 must win. So they, they, we are setting the tones to each and every one who will be in mm. to know that the group of ladies now is coming stronger than last season. Because now, obviously, we know it might be tax or so it's fabulous in, in, in another stream. So we might face one or, of those two. So we must go hard on them now. Uh, coach, uh, I, I really appreciate your time uh, and I hope uh, this time around you'll go all the way. It would be nice to see Deep Cliff ladies in the, in the, play, in the national playoffs and uh, because we're an ambitious team, uh, I hope uh, all the dreams and the goals you've set for your, for your team, you are able to achieve them. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.